Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in to day two of the 31 faces of Halloween, or 31 days of Halloween, however you want to call it. Right now, I am applying a white and flesh tone mix to the face as a foundation. This helps me, you know, just really, you know, make them look whiter or pale and stuff. And I always start off with a foundation on almost every one of my faces. Um except for really intricate designs. So I'm just sweeping it across the whole face, blending it in. She's talking, but it doesn't matter. I'm now coming in with a little bit of, I think that's black, and I'm just contouring, oh no, it's a dark gray color that I'm contouring her face with. And I kind of did it in a different way. You'll see here in a second. Um, started to do just a regular contour, and then I decided to change it up a little bit. I wanted to make it more sunken in. I wanted this to be a little bit creepier. So I went down and I filled in the whole cheekbone, kind of defining out the face a little bit differently. and give her more of sunken in cheeks so I covered the whole thing in gray a nice dark gray then I went in and I started contouring out the rest of her face now this is going to be a messy design it's not going to be a perfect design or what I consider a perfect design um, she's a necromancer so you know she's trying to raise the dead and I just wanted to give her more of a gothic kind of appearance but a messy gothic style so that's why I'm just smearing it on but not really defining it out I thought the gray was a little bit too much so I'm going on top of it with the flesh tone color that I use as a foundation trying to lighten it up a little bit and I do that to both sides and she's still talking she couldn't stop talking. <laughs> but that's okay. I don't mind if my models talk. It gives them something to do while I'm painting. <laughs> I'm now going in with the black, and I'm just defining out the cheekbones a little bit more, uh, giving it a nice little um, darkness there. Uh, just wanted to define it out a little bit more. And it of course you see me doing all this with sponge and like I said always use sponge for the majority of your work and go back in with the brush and do the details later uh, you'll save yourself a lot of time on doing these paintings now I'm going in with the black on a number six round I think and I'm going in and defining it out a little bit more but Still keeping it a messy style and filling in the whole eye black. Looks kind of alien ish. <laughs> but no, that's the next video coming up. Not this one. Oops. I gave away a secret. Hopefully, you missed that part. But, oh well, I'm not going to say any more about it. Now I'm going in with the eyebrows. Very thin pencil eyebrows. And they're not going to be even. They're not even on purpose. I didn't want to make them even. Uh, necromancers aren't the most beautiful people in the world. But I wanted to keep a little bit of beauty involved. So that's why I added in, you know, the eyebrows the way I did. Trying to make it little bit different just defining out the brows now I'm overlining the lips just a little bit to make them more full and I'm doing it with the black right now and then I'm gonna go in with a nice red color To a lot of people, this tickles like heck. 
Or like hell if you're, you know, doing the whole Halloween thing. <laughs> so I always blacken in the corners right before I put in the other color. That way it blends in nicely and you get a nice, you know, uh, ombre there. Now here I go with a nice deep dark crimson red color. And fill in the empty spots and kind of blend it in a little bit with the black. Wish my hand wasn't in the way so you could see it better. <laughs> there you go. Now you can see it. <laughs> Looks kind of funny when she talks like that. <laughs> and now I fell in the upper. You can see by the rolling of her eyes that it did tickle a little bit when I hit that part. If I really wanted to deepen this out a little bit more um, with her teeth, I would have put some green or some tar coloring onto it, made her teeth look really nasty. But I wanted to keep her looking a little bit more beautiful. She's checking herself out in the camera. And now I tried to put a small little pentagram on her eye. It's hard to see. You can see it in the picture a little bit better. But I probably should have made it a little bit bigger. I was also deciding on whether to add more to it or not and decided not to. So I told her to take her hair down. <laughs> Tease it out a little bit. Make it look a little bit better. Now that's a necromancer. That's the final look. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share this video with all your friends. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.